Okay, everybody, like I said, today we are going to be painting. So let's get started. The things that you're going to need today are your canvas, which is a 5 by 7 canvas that we have already provided for you, your little bag of paints, and your paintbrush. Also, if you have a napkin laying around somewhere or a paper towel, get that as well just to make sure that you don't have any paint spills or to, and to wipe your paintbrush off on as well. Now, I'm going to remind you all what it is we're painting today. I'll insert a picture right here for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to make this really beautiful picture of flip flops on the beach. Okay, so what I did is I kind of went through and traced what it is that we're going to draw. Oftentimes, especially because our canvas is kind of little, it's a five by seven, it might just be easier to draw what it is out before you're going to paint it. So if you're having trouble drawing it, I'll just quickly show you how to do it now. Okay, so first let's do the outline of our flip flops. Don't draw too dark. I am drawing a little bit darker than I normally would just for the purpose of the demonstration. So first, we're gonna draw an N near the corner of our canvas like this. Next, we're gonna make almost like a half C short of shape like this. And then we're going to connect it at the bottom and go all the way to the corner. We're going to make another half little C sort of shape on the other end. And it's going to go almost off the edge, but not quite. And then make a tiny little line right here. Now we're going to make our little band here, right where you put your feet in between your flip flops. So we're going to make another little end sort of shape at the top where flip-flops are normally pointed at. Or I'm going to make a long line and connect it right where we had our other one. And we're almost going to make an upside down sort of V shape like this. And connect them both at the end here. And now I'll just fill in this little line. So that's how you make a flip flop. And we're going to do the same thing and do three more of them. So that way you have two sets of flip flops. A little bit here. So make sure you make one little wavy line going right at the top of your flip-flops and then just one slightly above it too. All right now let's get started painting. Grab your paintbrush and the paints that we're gonna use and we're gonna start painting first our flip-flops. Okay, I think I want to make my flip-flops red, white, and blue. I guess maybe because I'm excited for the 4th of July weekend, 
I hope you all are too or have something really exciting planned. So I'm going to start painting my flip-flops on this side blue on the inside and then I think I'm going to paint my little straps to my flip-flops red. You can paint whatever color you want your flip-flops to be but these are the ones that I'm going to paint. strokes with my paintbrush and I'm just trying to stay in the lines that I've already made for myself. almost done already. Like I said, try not to paint, oh, put a whole bunch of paint down on your canvas because believe it or not, we're going to get this painting done in about 20 short minutes. Now, I'm going to take that same blue and put it on the straps of our flip flops on the other side. Once again, I'm just going to trace my little outlines that I made for myself and fill the paint in. It's important any time that you switch colors to make sure that you rinse off your paintbrush because 
If not, all the colors will just blend together and you're not going to get the look that you want. Okay, now I'm going to take some red and fill in my straps on my blue flip-flops over here. We're going to move on to our second set of flip-flops. I'm going to paint those red. Okay, now before we do our waves in the beach, I am going to add a couple details on my flip flops. Because I don't want to just leave them blue and red because I think that's kind of boring, right? So I'm going to just lightly check that my paintings dry, my flip flop on this side, and you can tell it, that it is. So now I'm going to go in and just add some details. I'm going to
cutoffs here. And for some of them, I just don't really like how thick the blue turned out. But once this dries, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Or any mistake you might have made along the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start our waves. I want you to take your blue, mix it with some white. And keep mixing it until you get a really light shade and I'll show you what the desired color you're looking for is. This is about the color that I want you guys to try to achieve here. Now, it might take, I'd say, a good bit of white to get to this. So what you should do is take a separate sheet of paper or a plate or whatever you have that you could mix this up on and just dump out a little bit of white on your paper, or whatever, or even your canvas. Take a glob of white that's just about this size and then take only a little tiny piece of blue and mix it up until you get a really light shade of blue. Now we're gonna paint up until this little squiggly line right here. Don't get any more paint. Use the remaining blue paint that you have on your paintbrush and fill in the second line right here. Don't get any on your flip flops, just paint around them. Because for this next part, you don't need to. Wash your brush off again, and now we're gonna use the color white. Now, what you're gonna do is take your color white, try to give this a couple seconds to dry off. I'd say at least a minute or two. Your acrylic paints dry really, really fast, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, now double check to make sure it's dry. And now that it's dry, we're gonna make our waves. Now that we've made our water, we wanna make our waves. So how are we gonna do that? Take our white and just make some scribbles on the top like this. Okay, now that I have my waves here, we're going to keep continuing to make them up top by our flip flops. And you might notice I put a little daub of white paint right here because I messed up and I got a little bit of blue on a place where I didn't want blue. So simple way to fix that and tune in because you're going to need to leave this answer in the comments below. How do you fix mistakes? 
just use a little dab of white paint and paint it over. Simple as that. Like I said, you're gonna have to remember what color paint you use when you make a mistake. So keep that in mind for the question of the day. Now, take the same paintbrush you just used and we're gonna very, very lightly continue to make our waves. We're gonna make our scribble that we had at the top right here, our little wave, just like this. This is what it should look like, almost like a little divide between your waves and your flip-flops below. That's good, that's exactly what you wanna have. Now we're gonna continue that, but take just a tiny amount of paint and we're gonna almost fill it in with the waves. Continue to make just little wavy marks. desired color we're looking for here. So take your yellow and white and mix it up until you get a really light, a really light uh, yellow shade basically. And then once you get this really, really light yellow shade, you can try mixing a little bit of brown in there with it. And now you make brown by so the colors you're going to mix, like I said once again, is white and yellow to get a really light yellow shade. And then what you're going to do is add a little bit of brown to that. How do you get brown? Mix blue and orange together. And that's how you get brown. Add that all together and you should end up with this sand light brown type of shade. Okay, now let's fill in our sand. I'm gonna just go back in and add some final details. And if you have any mistakes, we're just gonna fix our mistakes. I let the white paint sit, and now all I have to do is paint right over top of it. I'm gonna take my paintbrush, like I said before, wait till some of this is dry, and then I'm gonna blend the water into the sand. Alright, now that we're almost done, the last thing that 
you all have to do at the bottom. Every artist has a signature. So at the very corner of our painting, you have to sign your name because every artist signs their painting. Okay, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this little painting today. Question of the day is, if you make a mistake painting, what color paint do you use to fix it? Leave that in the comments below. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time. Next week, is we are going to be making optical illusions. All right, bye.